What's up, everybody? We are here with papers, please. I can't believe I never actually did a Take a Peek episode on this, so let's open the box and take a peek at papers, please. Old, old series that I did. Great game. Absolutely love it. If you want to see more of the game, I do recommend going back and looking at my videos because it really, this game, it was a good game. All right, let's let's start on day 14. We're just gonna do you know one or two, one or two days, no big deal. I don't remember most of the controls, but I do remember the story. This political simulation point-and-click game basically puts you in the situation of a border control agent. Your job is to let people in, or not, into your country of Arstotska. Spelled as so. Ministry of, Administ of Admission will be on your butt if you screw up. And they tell you exactly what you need to do for the day. What the heck? What is this for? Need engineers. We'll beat government pay. Give that to engineers, probably. So in the game, there are, obviously there's your government, Artotska, your country, your family you have to take care of, and then an operative, or a secret group, I should say, called Ezek. And what Ezek does is basically try and overthrow the government, long story short. But how they do that is with or without your assistance. You choose whether or not you want to help them, and that determines the entire fate of the game. The Ministry of Admission also has other things they want you to do, and how you perform can also determine the fate of your family, yourself, and of the game. Whether or not you end early or do you make it all the way to the very end of the game, that's up to you. It can be a difficult game at times, and very, very stressful. It's remarkable how good this game is, though. It seems like a boring game. It actually is a lot of fun to play. So, Daily Bolton's now contain a list of most, top three most wanted international criminal, criminals. Check faces against entrants. So we're looking for these people. And then just basic news that doesn't mean anything. So we're looking for these criminals to come through. They may or they may not. But bulletins are posted. So let's look at the basic rules. What are we doing here? They must have a passport. Must be current. Must have an ID card. Entry permit for foreigners. Got it. Work pass. Okay. No weapons or contraband. Diplomats require authorization. And foreigners need an ID supplement. Alright. The map. You have Arstotska, Kolekia, Obrestan, Antigua, Antigria. Republia, United Federation, and Empor. Obviously a fake place. Somehow reminiscent of Soviet Russia. And then documents what they're supposed to look like. And what are real places and what are fake things. Quickly making sure that I know what I'm looking for again. Because it's been months upon months since I've played this game. I can't believe I haven't actually made a video about it until now. Okay. We have the rules. The rules. Right, let's put you down here. That's engineers if we see them. Okay, well let's go ahead and start the game. Start the day. Okay, here comes our first person. Papers, please. Alright, so you're from our Stoltzka. You have an ID. You are from the Alton District. Now we are on a clock. 170, yeah, okay, believable. 12 1, 1940, female, Paradisna. And expires in plenty of time. Fine to me. That's uh, Burger. Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure that she is A okay. No, she is not. She should not have come. You have nothing to say? I'm sorry, but you are a criminal. 
Just when we started looking for criminals. Sorry. See, I almost, I almost let the criminal slip through, and that would have been a point against me. That would have been an issue. You're visiting. 60 days. Work. Um, hang on. Discrepancy here. The purpose does not match up. Alright, you came to work. For 60 days. That does match up. 1982, 12, 25. You're good. You're good there. Uh, look at this. 171. Believable. 58 kilos. Good. Bobbed hair. Indeed. Fingerprint. Can't, don't have a need to check that. Now. Good. And. Good. And good. Fires. You're still good there. It's 82, 82. Yeah. Looks good. You may enter the country. Assuming there's nothing there. No correlation. Here you go. Cause no trouble. Gets past this. Uh oh. Invalid expiration date. What? I checked that. I thought I checked that. What? Large gift was a mistake. Ministry of Information now investigates your connection to Ezek. Next agent come today. We'll solve problem. Deny at own risk. We're looking for either Agent Stephanie Greer or Agent Mikhail Saratov. <laughs> Stephanie or Mikhail? Alright. Purpose of trip, you plan to work a year. Um, hello? No. Sorry. Discrepancy. 30 days. Yeah. 1983, 47, where's your... 169, actually I shouldn't hide that. 69, believable, 79 kilos, dark hair. Alright, whatever. Good. Good. These are still valid. Pretty, pretty sure. Yeah, 11, 12, that's still valid. I'm pretty sure you're just fine here. If I get docked for that one, boy, I've gotten real rusty. I shouldn't, though. Come to visit, Mr. Beard. 14 days. 14 days. Visit. Good. 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 Sure, these are right. They appear to be. So right now I'm checking for discrepancies. Republia, True Glorian. Now does True Glorian belong to Republia? Map, Republia, True Glorian. It indeed does. All right. Corners have an ID supplement. All right. That looks to be good to me. All right. Cause no trouble. All right, good. We did it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> you are going to jail. That's what's happening. That's the second criminal we caught. Beautifully done. Yorgi! Not Yorgi. How sad. You make small mistake. <laughs> oh, silly, silly person. You make big mistake. Two passports. You will never get through this line, by the way. Ever. Transit for two days. 
days. Four, twelve, twelve, eighty-two, forty-nine. 8 kilos, 179, straight hair, good, 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 all right. Cause no trouble. I hope I did that right. Ah! Immigrating to our Stoltzka. Uh, you need your entry permit. Wait a minute, Stephanie Greer? Indeed, Stephanie Greer. So I could, if I deny her, that means I'm not helping Isaac. If I let her in, it means I'm helping Isaac. So I'm going to let her in, help out Isaac, or a Stoltzka in the order. So I'm going to get penalized for that. MOA violation. Missing entry permit. Last warning, no penalty. Here to visit friends. Weeks. Okay. Weeks, visit. Good, good. Corista City in the United Federation. Oh, that's expired. Sorry. Could not enter with an expired document. Goodbye. See, the clock's flashing. We're running out of time. Quick, Vaynor. There's a weight discrepancy here. We're going to need to check you. Turn towards the scanner, please. While you're doing that, I can scan some stuff. Good, good. Uh-huh. Weapons are contraband. Nope. You are going to jail. Congratulations, you brought weapons or contraband. My son is sick and needs medicine. Double click for quick inspect. Well, we need food and we need heat, so let's. Yeah, let's get medicine for the sun. He's sick. This is where the game gets really hard. Like, what do you spend your money on? Now, I have an entire family to take care of. They're cold, they're hungry. But, I, I only have so much money. Let's sleep. In the next day, government headquarters in Paradis now evacuated. And breakthrough spinal surgery perfected. Only possible with our Stoltzkin expertise. So we see this headline that tomorrow, the next day. We're going to get people that are like, Hey, I want to get into your country. You shouldn't let me in because I don't have the right papers. But I really need this surgery and this is the only place I can get it. And I can't afford to get the right papers. So you have to decide. Are you going to deny them? Or are you going to let them in? It makes it very difficult game is not nice that way. So obviously, you just go into the next day. You have a new list of criminals. You still have your Ezek, and you have one more nearing thing. No other changes. And just like that, that is Papers, Please, in a nutshell. This political simulation game tears apart your heart at times. It makes what would otherwise be a monotonous, boring job into something that's not just exciting, but thrilling. And honestly, this is one of the best games I've ever played. It's really only good for one, maybe two playthroughs. You know, we go back to the main menu. You can turn the nudity off. Go back to the main menu. You can play endlessly. And I know I completed story mode, but I don't remember what the code was. Uh -huh. But you play, and you play, and you play, and you see right here on day 26, I couldn't go any further. Something happened on either day 25 or day 26 that stopped me from going further. Either the ministry stopped me, Isaac stopped me, you know, some random disgruntled worker placed a bomb and, you know, blew me up or something. 
a lot of things can happen along the way based off of what you do, what you choose to do. And it all starts on day one. Anyways, guys, this game is really, really worth playing. If you, if you like video games, give this one a good look. In a way, it's kind of roguelike, but at the same time, it's really not. I don't know, it's tough to, to classify this. It's an indie game, point and click, political simulation. And it's worth just a couple bucks on the Steam store. I'm gonna check right now, actually. It is worth, as of the making of this video, $10 on the Steam store. And it is worth every penny. Seriously, guys, pick this game up. It's a lot of fun, and you can get through it in a day, easily. That doesn't mean you will. <laughs> a lot harder than it looks, and it gets really hard at the end. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next time with another Take a Peek episode, and I'm so glad I could finally do one of Papers, Please, because this game is amazing. Highly recommend it. So, I hope you guys buy it. Link is, as always, in the description, and I will see you guys later.